Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday and it is nine o'clock and I'm gonna do another vlog. Um, I just felt like doing a vlog today. Today I feel really happy. I feel really good. I haven't been as happy as I have been for, you know, well, I mean, last year I wasn't happy. So for like a whole year, I wasn't happy. Well, more than that. It's been more than a year that I haven't been happy. But I'm really glad that I like just let things out yesterday, you know, during my little vent session. And I'm excited about what this year will bring and what my videos will be. Um... I'm really excited to do more vlogs and just integrate my cleaning into um, vlogs. I'm not going to really do a lot of cleaning videos like I did last year because like I mentioned you know, in my little event session, I did notice me doing cleaning videos. It was kind of like a coping mechanism to trying to stay at someone's, someone else's standards into cleaning and stuff like that. and. I mean, I am a clean person. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say this because I didn't say this in my event session yesterday. I am a clean person. But, you know, for certain things, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress over, you know, like I said, before, like yesterday, for example, my kids making a mess with their toys. I'm not going to, you know, stress over that because kids will be kids. And it's not a mess. It's just kids playing with their toys. And that just boils down to, you know, me and my family teaching my kids to put away their toys once they're done with it, which is a whole process. My kids are in the age range of almost a two-year-old to almost a four-year-old. So giving them like, or giving yourself high expectations of children of that age range it's ridiculous it's unrealistic and so in that sense i am not gonna worry about stuff like that you know what i mean like if things get a little bit unorganized i'm not gonna stress over it because i used to do that and i did that a lot last year and it didn't make me happy <laughs> i got like stress to the point where I felt it in my neck and so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna clean it I'm not going to stress over it you know you just have to learn to just accept that the house will be lived in it's not gonna be like a stage home house that people just don't that doesn't look like it's lived in if you know what I mean so I'm not saying that I'm not a clean person and I'm also not saying that I won't clean <laughs> because I have to clean, but I'm just not going to go to the extent of I did what I did last year. That's what I mean. And I'm really excited that I am, you know, what the heck, there's a fly in here. <laughs> I'm excited that I'm not going to be the person that I was last year and make all of these cleaning videos that I was trying to cope with something, you know, behind the scenes that you guys didn't see. And I mean, I will make cleaning videos, just not like I did last year. I might do, you know, more decluttering videos, stuff like that, but we'll see. I am leaving that part of my channel just on pause right now. And I'm just going to enjoy the one thing that I actually really enjoy and it is vlogging documenting my day and if that you know means that I'm going to integrate cleaning then I will if I want to make a video just on cleaning <laughs> then I will I that also goes with if I want to make cooking videos more because I do enjoy to cook and I enjoy making cooking videos then I'll make them I don't want to give myself an expectation that I may or may not, you know, commit to, if you know what I mean. So I'm really excited, really happy. Thank you guys for, you know, if you listened to my whole little vent rant session, whatever you want to call it, thank you guys for that. Because, 
even though I do have, you know, my fiance and, you know, like my family around me and I express myself, sometimes it's still hard to try and express yourself to other people because it just might come off as nagging, complaining, and I'm not trying to complain. I'm just seriously trying to get something off my chest and I felt really good about it. Mommy, I, mommy what do I want? I don't know. What do you want, baby? Huh? This, what do you want? Yeah. You want to see if your tablet is working? You want some tablet time for a little bit? It's not done yet. It's not done yet? Are you sure? My tablet, it's, it's, it's not working. It's, it's not, it's, it's working right now. Yeah. It's, Gamma saw that. Gamma say it's wood. So it's charging. in. Not yet, mommy. Okay, so do you want to go watch Peppa Pig in the living room? I want to watch my, something on my tablet. Okay, let me go get your tablet and see if it's working, okay? He gave us our tablet or his tablet last mommy. night to charge it. Yay. So his tablet not fully charged but it is you know charged so he can you know play some games he has some like baby games in his age range that he plays on his um, tablet and then some you know videos <laughs> of you know like baby shark and stuff like that but anyway I am really excited on my channel really excited just to work on me more this year because I do want to be more present with my kids i want to live in the moment more rather than worrying about how other people may think of me you know regardless if it's cleaning or whatever but yeah i'm really excited i'm really excited about it and so that is why i wanted to pick up the camera again because for the past year or even like the three years you know ever since i had my son and my my daughter i haven't been happy i haven't been in a good place in my life and i want to be happy again i want to live moments and actually live the moments rather than just trying to live them but they're not living them at the same time if you know what i mean so I am really excited for this chapter of my life that I am going to be a lot more transparent as I can be because, I mean, obviously there are things that I don't want to share, but then there are other things that I do want to share. So it's just to find out all the balance. And I am finding the balance this year and I'm really excited about it and... Yeah, today I, I'm happy. Today I felt really good. I don't have this weight on my chest like I had last year. It feels really good. I feel fantastic. I am happy that I am taking care of myself more. I am happy that I am exercising more. I am eating better because truth be told, for the past three years, I haven't been eating good. And I think I have been eating my emotions, you know, with food. So I'm glad that I am taking back my happiness, my life, you know, my whole body and my whole soul and my mind and working on me more because at the end of the day, it is down if you're, you know, happy or not with your life. So really excited, really, really excited. I don't know how many times I'm going to say I'm really excited. I'm really happy, but I haven't been happy for the past three years. And I was at my breaking point last year and I was just trying to push it down and cope with things and just put my mind into something else, which was my channel. I think that's also why I, you know, did all those you know, Vlogtober and Vlogadays and Vlogmas because I wanted to just make my mind busy, but it, it didn't really help me in the long run. And now this year I'm really excited because I am going to do Vlogadays. I'm not going to do, I mean, I'm not going to do Vlogadays. I'm going to do Vlogmas 
in vlogtober not vloggy days <laughs> i learned my lesson on that i am not going to daily vlog for three months straight i was pooped but i am going to do vlogtober and vlogmas not vloggy days <laughs> not gonna do that but yeah i'm really excited really really excited with you know everything and so i'm going to stop rambling because i could talk for ages and i'm just going to just vlog and show you my day and be happy okay baby okay so i already had my uh breakfast i don't really usually eat breakfast anymore but i did eat breakfast today because i was kind of hungry and i did have two cups of coffee i didn't really need like a second cup of coffee today i kind of feel like really good and really energized but i don't know i was like really liking my coffee so i wanted to have another cup of coffee um this morning me and my fiance's breakfast was biscuits and sausages um he had like three times more than i did he had well why am i in a, such a burpy mood oh my goodness the heck anyway my fiance did have three so uh three biscuits and six sausages i know that sounds a lot but my fiance he burns so much calories you know in his work day because he does a physical job so it kind of like balances out some and he doesn't when he comes home for lunch he doesn't really eat lunch only if he's like really hungry so he kind of needs to you know start the day with kind of like a big breakfast like a reasonable breakfast so he enjoyed that <laughs> but i only had one biscuit and two sausages because i am on a low carb diet i'm not on keto which that would have been so bad because of the bread but i am on a low carb diet i don't eat as much as i used to i am portioning my meals a lot more i'm eating smaller meals especially if we have rice i don't want to have rice as much as we did you know in the past and you know for the few years that we've been eating rice but when i do have to have rice i do have like a small portion and that is enough <laughs> i can't even like fathom how much rice i used to eat it was insane insane so when i do have carbs i do limit myself and i don't feel bad you know before i used to feel bad Oh yeah, your shoe. I used to feel so bad when I ate so much bread, so much rice, so much carbs. So now since I am exercising more and portioning my meals out, it feels not as like guilty when I eat bread and when I eat rice cuz man, I don't I don't even I can't even explain how much rice I had. You want your shoes? She gave me her her shoe. You want this one? Come on. You want to put on your shoes? Here. Look at this one. There's two. Look, I got both. You want me to put it on you? Hmm? Come on. Let's put it on you. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on. Sit up here. We put on your your shoes. No, 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 no. Your sister just wants uh her shoes on, her uh her slippers, I mean, not actual, you know, shoes that we use when we go out. Just her slippers. You want your slippers? No, we're just putting on slippers. There you go. You got your slippers on now. You want to walk? Huh? You want to walk? Those are so cute, huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh no, we don't touch mommy's camera, okay? <laughs> we don't touch mommy's camera, cutie pie. We got those for her for Christmas last year. So cute, so cute. My son has dinosaur slippers, but I don't think if they're even in here. Oh yeah, they are, but he doesn't really, really wear them like that, only if we go like out to the backyard or to the front yard 
so that way he just has, you know, some form of feet protection. You're a cutie pie, baby girl. Where are you going? Where's my little girl going? Huh? whatever reason my camera just stopped <laughs> like stopped uh, recording so <laughs> yeah it stopped recording and I don't know why so I just showed you real quick that I you know finished doing the dishes and I just left these like few bits because I do like to um, like if I can I do like to soak my kids you know like sippy cups training cups bottles and then other things like straws it's like really deep clean them and i'm gonna do that later because this girl was actually really fussing i think her teeth are hurting her right now and she wants mama so i'm gonna take a break yeah you can't have the paper the paper towel what's there <laughs> those are your dirty uh, cups and stuff you want your milk? I got you milk, baby. Huh? I made you milk, but you didn't want it. And you put it down somewhere. Hmm? That face. Okay, I'll get you your milk. I'll show you where your milk is. I know, I know, you're hurting, I know. Teething is, is not fun. I hear you, I know, baby, I know. Yeah. So it is almost 11 o'clock. I just let Apollo out to go in the back and I did feed my son some noodles. He's been asking for um, ramen noodles lately, so I made him some. And yeah, it's been a very calming, chill morning, which I am really loving. And my daughter is also down for a nap. She fell asleep, I think, 20, 30 minutes ago. She was really fussy. She was really, really teething, you guys. So I did give her some infant Tylenol to kind of ease her pain because she also like hasn't been sleeping like really good. She is usually, you know, like an all night sleeper. But since she has been teething, you know, she has been having multiple teeth come in at the same time. She has not been, you know, the all night sleep girl <laughs> that she usually is at night so tonight last night was also a rough night so i just figured to give her some infant tylenol to ease the growing pains because teething is no joke <laughs> it's tough okay so my son is asleep now he fell asleep 15 minutes ago and my daughter is still napping so i'm gonna close my bedroom door now because i am going to vacuum and mop it's been a few days since we have vacuumed and mopped the house so i'm gonna do it
so it's been 10 minutes since I got done mopping, vacuuming and mopping the floors. I've just been, you know, relaxing, taking a break because I got hot and <laughs> sweaty a little bit. And you know, it feels really, really good to just, you know, mop the floors twice all in one go, not do it in sections, not stress over things, not worry about you know, trying to keep the house clean because in all honesty, this house is clean and it just needs, you know, some tidying up. It doesn't need to really be deep cleaned because we're always cleaning the house. It's really good that I'm not like overdoing things anymore because it really wasn't healthy for me. And I am really loving, you know, feeling like the weight has lifted from both my chest, my shoulders and all that. So it feels really, really nice. Okay, so my daughter is awake now. It is 1.37. I think she's been awake for <clears throat> 10 minutes now. And I was trying to uh, do some yoga, some like light yoga, but she woke up. So I was like, I'll just take a break and do that later and now i'm gonna make some well i'm toasting some panda sal and i'll share it with my daughter because i'm pretty sure she is hungry what happened you want your your uh your brother's hat on huh your cutie pie no why did you do that here 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 here, here. i put it on i put it on Huh? You're so cute. See, look at you. Mommy, I'm coming. So cute. <laughs> Mommy, she, she Somebody don't. is still she fussy, not in the mood, but maybe the panda sal can fix it. Huh? You hungry? She, Mommy's making some, well, not making, toasting some panda sal. Huh? Do you want some bread too, Logan? No. No? You're not hungry? I or are you hungry? Are you hungry? You want some bread? Okay. Mommy. Mommy, can I eat the key? Mommy, that one? No, just eat both. You mm -hmm. baby. Okay, so I am giving my kids a bath. I figured to give them a bath after um, I gave them some panda cell because my daughter had a lot of butter and crumbs on her hands, so I figured might as well just give them a bath and let them enjoy some water time. And they're having loads and loads of fun. They are both clean. Both dressed. Where's your other one? Can you find your other your other slipper? No. You just want to put on one slipper? Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it on. This is this is this one. This one right here. Oh, warming mummy. You want to just put on one slipper? I'm racing. Mommy. Okay, you can walk around. Yeah. Okay, so it is four o'clock. We were out in the backyard. We spent a good bit out there. Um, Apollo wanted to come back into the house. I think it's because the neighbor that's in front of our house um, in our court is getting their driveway re-cemented. So he's hearing the cement truck and he's probably not liking the sound of it. So we went into the house, back into the house. But I guess we did spend a good bit outside, so I guess that was enough. Um, I just wanted to uh, say thank you guys for the love and the support that you guys have been giving me. All the comments that you've been leaving me on my previous vlog. That event session, you guys, was just so, it was so much needed. And it felt so nice to get, you know, the things that I've been wanting to say off my chest. 
and thank you guys for all the comments your support really means a lot to me and I kind of want to do more videos like that would you guys want me to do like more like transparent videos I guess being more like honest and open let me know Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I do, I just want to say thank you for, you know, supporting my last video and being so supportive on me opening up and being more transparent with you guys. And I also want to mention that I didn't post that, you know, me doing that rant session to get views to have a pity party to have people pity me that's not it i just want to share more with you guys and you know i don't accept hate comments i don't accept rude comments i don't accept mom shaming i'm not going to get into it because the whole point of like hate comments rude comments and mom shaming comments are really just to get under your skin so i'm just gonna let it go i already put in my two cents so Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, or if you are new, please consider subscribing before you leave. Your love and your support really means a lot to me. It honestly really does. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.